Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and crackling atmosphere the match I think will be quite a spectacle well this really is a great venue it adds so much character to every game it stages Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. There's the whistle. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Tricky, but Karim Benzema. What impresses me about the Frenchman is his willingness to, to keep going for the team, even on days when it's not as fluid. And I think that has a knock-on effect and it sets the tone for, for that little bit of extra grittiness. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Courtois gets it upfield. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Casemiro. Modric. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Played down the flank. Martinez. It's broken loose. And he's there to cut it out. Clears it out of harm's way. Perisic. And here's Martinez. And that has been cleared. Skriniar gets into the right position to intercept. Hit long and direct. And he's there to clear it. Knocks it away. Alaba. Alaba drives it forward. Real Madrid getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Chelhanolu. Martinez. Casemiro. Very nearly half an hour gone here. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Alaba. Daniel Carvajal. 
And here's Bill. Chalanolu goes looking. Into Milan, being made to look sloppy in possession here. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. And here's Azar. Keeper sends it forward. Oh, good interception. Casemiro. Alaba tries to get it forward quickly. Modric. Lobs it in gently. Look at the defender bombing forward. Massive leap! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks and toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Into Milan, head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. Already up and running for the second half. Inter, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and... Benzema! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. Perisic. Skrinja. Hoists it forward, now the counter. It's Benzema! Oh, that is rather wayward. Real Madrid were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Stefan de Vrij. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept, so... Nobody can get in behind. Towering header! And in it goes! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Bale really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Inter are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Modric. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Into Milan, present their opponents with the best possible chance here. Oh, off the bar! Barrera to play it forward. Dzeko gets into a dangerous position. Oh, that is off! Has a point! back there was to be only one outcome
Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. has certainly made things interesting. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Casemiro, and it's played forward. Daniel Carvajal. Just about up to 75 minutes. Now it's Bale. Bale spreads it towards the left. And Danovic sends that a long way. Hazard. Benzema! And for a moment, time stood still. Ah, oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Two changes being made right now. Brozovic. Throw it. Casemiro plays a clever pass. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Gone for a throw in. Bastoni. And here's Jacko. He's there to his. He's had a go! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Chalanolu has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Final seconds, this has to be it. Ball through needs to be good here. And he's straight offside. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Chalanolu battles to win it back. That's a decent ball. Brozovic. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. <laughs> Danger averted for now. Chalanolu, and he's cut it out. Tries to get it clear. Chooses to go back. And it's Perisic. It's a brilliant interception. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line.